Welcome to my channel. We will be doing another double unboxing today as I work my way through the illness induced backlog of subscription boxes. Um, I just unboxed some, uh, unboxed some Sephora boxes and um, super frowny face. So I'm really hoping these boxes perk me right back up. I think they will. They are my um, Ipsy for the month of May and also my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of May. So I think we will dig into the regular Ipsy box, Ipsy bag first. Uh, for those who don't know, the regular Ipsy subscription is $10 a month. The Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is $25 a month. Uh, you do not have to get the regular Ipsy to get the Glam Bag Plus anymore. It's not an upgrade. You can just sign up for that from the get-go. So um, you can kind of pick and choose the uh, one that appeals to you the most. Out of my hot pink bag, the first two things in here are my add-ons for this month. I picked up a $3 sample bottle of Good Jeans. I really, really, really like this product. This is one of my holy grails and it is um, $105 a bottle. So whenever I can pick up a sample for cheap, I am definitely all over that. Uh, and then, okay, the funny look was because I thought I got the wrong add-on, but I was actually confusing the add-on I got for this versus the add-on I got for the Glam Bag Plus. This is a Philorgia Time Filler Absolute Wrinkle Correction Cream. I have not actually tried this, but I wanted to when I saw it on the add-ons, so here it is. <clears throat> and then getting into the actual products, the first thing we have is outside the bag. It is a double-ended Farrah brush. This is their 22E Shade and Blend Eye Brush. And, um... I'm not wild about double-ended brushes because they're going to be sitting on one end and getting mushed down because I keep mine in a cup. So I may pass that one along to someone else. And then here is the May bag. It is super fun and glittery, except mine has a little boo-boo uh, on the back here. Reaching inside, the first thing I have is from Kalido. I think that's how you say that. Cosmetics. It is a skin blush. However, it has sweet almond oil in it, so I will not be able to use this. I will definitely pass it along to someone else. And then I have Pixie Skin Treats H2O Skin Drink. Woo, not allergic to this. Oh, okay. So I peeled off the top and it just came oozing right out. Um, for once, I believe I have a sample bottle that is actually full. Let's see what we can do about my uh, tingling hand here. Oh, that feels really nice, actually. Uh, that went on pretty smoothly, and it soaked in really pretty much immediately. Uh, and it did make my hand feel pretty nice after um, a little blooper with some pharmacy serum in the last video. So I am actually really happy to try that on my face. The next thing we have is wrapped in bubble wrap. It is from Dusty Miller, and I don't know what it is, but let's see if we can open it up. Oh, okay, we have an eyeshadow, and it is, it is dark. Okay, so here is the swatch for this shadow. It is a uh, purpley gray with just a little bit of satin finish. I actually think it's um, going to be a lot more wearable than I first thought from the pan, especially for a nice dark smoky night outlook. So I'm not mad about that at all. Uh, and then from Lord and Barry, we have Maximate. The, um, it is a crayon lipstick. All right, it doesn't have ingredients, but I'm feeling brave. Here is the swatch. It is actually a uh, brighter orange than I would think from the cap. Um, that is a color I will definitely wear, so I am pretty happy about that as well. 
And then the last thing we have in our makeup bag is the card with the information on the items. <clears throat> the Lord and Barry lip crayon. Okay, I got a little distracted here. I was looking at that um, Kalito Cosmetics blush that I was unable to open. It is in the color Prima Donna. And it actually looks like it is a uh, nice neutral peachy brown color. So it is a shame that I can't actually wear it. However, I will deal with my disappointment because I have a um, collection of blushes at this point. I don't, I think I can live without one more. <clears throat> so moving on to my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Uh, it does look like it was stepped on. It came this way. So I am hoping nothing is damaged inside, but we will open it up and find out. Okay, so it does come with this fabulous blue foam and inside it is not terribly full this month. Okay, so let's see what we have. The first thing is the flyer. I will set that aside for later so as not to ruin the surprise. We are going to start off with three of the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Deep Ox Oxygenating Cleanse Mask. Um, I have some Glam Glow samples that I have not yet tried because they are um, clay mask that you put on, like not, not sheet mask, whatever you call the not sheet mask kind. So I haven't tried them yet. I'm not big on those. I love sheet masks. I have tons of sheet masks. I use them several times a week. So these are fabulous and exciting and I will be using these up really soon. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe these Glam Glow masks are actually a little pricey. So this is a nice item to get in my uh, Ipsy Plus. Okay, we do have a slightly dented box here, but I'm pretty sure the item inside is not breakable. So that is good that um, it seems to have taken the brunt of the damage. This is the Yenza Color and Face Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. Okay, so I am not allergic to this primer, but it does have some really interesting ingredients, including black chokeberry and um, green tea, sea kelp. So this is definitely a more unique product. Okay, this is again a tinted primer. Uh, I did get the right color for my skin tone, yay. Uh, it has blended in pretty much invisibly, but it has given a little glowy sheen here. So I think that is going to actually be a nice look on the face. Uh, I also have another face product. It is Nudie's Tinted Blur Stick, a tinted sheer coverage, lightweight all over face stick that blurs texture. Um, I love a good blurring product. Uh, and this is in light one. I just hope it is light enough for me. Okay, there we go. It does look like it is going to be light enough for me to use it. So that is very exciting. I will have to try that on and let you know how well it blurs. Okay, then I have my two add-on items. I got a second good jeans because I am not one to pass up a good sample of good jeans. And then I got the R & Co Waterfall Moisture and Shine Lotion. It does make me a little irate that you can't easily view ingredients when you're doing Ipsy add-ons. Um, so I took a gamble on this one. Luckily, I'm not allergic to it. I have heard great things about this brand and I love moisturizers. I use them everywhere all the time. So I was really excited to try this for a $3 sample. I couldn't say no. Back to the actual contents of my box. We have something from Il Maquillage. It is their Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara in the color black. Ooh, Icon Black, excuse me. Okay, so I have a general hate for getting black mascara in every single subscription box. Um, I know everyone who wears mascara will wear a good black mascara and it is a nice all-purpose product and you don't have to worry about skin tones or colors or preferences. So I get it, I really do. But it gets annoying after a while. It has just a regular straight wand. It actually seems fairly short in comparison to other mascara wands. Um, 
But out of curiosity, I am going to pop a coat on my eyelashes. Okay, so I already have two coats of the Butter London I have been wearing. Um, I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, here's a good side view. Um, but it has given it a little more uh, depth to the blackness. I think it's a little blacker than the Butter London. And it has also done a little bit of extra lengthening. <laughs> Since it is essentially a third coat, I'm not going to say anything about any extra thickening it has done because that would be par for the course. However, I will definitely be trying that out um, a little more in depth. And then the last item I have in here is from Wander Beauty. Wander Beauty does put lots and lots of things in subscription boxes. Uh, however, this is not a mascara or eye mask or any of their usual products. Uh, this is the Wondrous Seascape eyeshadow palette, which I cannot open. Ah, that box cutter is so handy. If I'm getting a little darker and more shadowed, it is because this is like my fourth video and my light is dying over here. But this is our last item, so hang with me. Okay, so here is the Wondrous palette. It seems to have a uh, summery beachy theme based on the name and packaging. And I think the colors and their names really stick to that. We have Champagne Harbor, Sea Salt, Golden Reef, Sand Dollar, Sea Foam, and Coastal. Let's go ahead and do some swatches of this. Here is Champagne Harbor. Sea Salt, Golden Reef. Oh, I really like that uh, Golden Reef with the coppery color. Sand Dollar, which seems to be the only matte in there. Okay, so first my light went out and then my camera overheated. It is clearly time for me to be done unboxing things today, but let me go ahead and finish with the swatches. This one is Sea Foam. It is a lovely glittery gold. I like that really well. And then this is Coastal. It is very, very blue in the pan, um, but it is a lot more of a blue gray when it is swatched. I actually think these will go together to make some very nice summery beachy kind of looks. And um, I really like the swatches. The formula seems to go on very smooth. There doesn't seem to be a lot of fallout. So this will definitely be something fun to play with. <clears throat> so I'm not at all mad about getting yet another Wander Beauty item. Overall, I am very happy with both my Ipsy bag and my Glam bag. Plus, the worst thing about the entire experience... <laughs> the worst thing about the entire experience is the blotch on the back of my makeup bag. Otherwise, I'm really happy about everything. So I'm hoping that trend continues with the rest of my backlog of unboxings. If you want to find out, go ahead, hit subscribe, come back and see me.